Aisha says, while doing wudu, if we touch our pants to lift up the legs to wash in the wash basin, our hands get dried out due to touching the pants. Does this drying up of hands invalidate our wudu? <clears throat> we have six pillars of wudu. There are six pillars of wudu. One is washing the face. Two, washing the arms till the elbows. Three, wiping over the head. Four, washing the feet. Five, the sequence as mentioned. Six, what is known as al-muwalat. The muwalat is being simultaneous in what you do. So if I wash my face, I wouldn't go and answer a call, open the door, uh, check the food on the stove, and then come and wash my arms to the elbows. This is not permissible. So scholars, in order to explain it to people, the incident of being simultaneous, they said that the definition of simultaneous is that your organ would not dry out in normal conditions. What does that mean? In the heat of the sun, in the summer, in Saudi Arabia, for example, if you wash your face, by the time you wash your left arm, your face is dried. Should I wash it again? They said, no, because this is due to the heat. This is due to the wind. This is due to a number of factors. This is not what breaks simultaneous, uh, uh, being simultaneous. Unfortunately, people who read this thought that, okay, so if I washed my forearm, right forearm, then my sleeves went down. It must have dried a little bit. So I have to wash it again. No, this is not true because I'm still doing it simultaneously. Then what is meant by drying the limbs? It means that it is the time that would take my limb to dry in normal condition without any legitimate reason. So for example, if I were to uplift my trousers so that I can raise my feet, my hand would dry. Do I have to wash it again? No, there's nothing wrong in that. Even that some scholars say, if you dry your right foot before putting it in the shoe and then wash your left foot, this is okay because it is still continuous. The wudu is still continuous and drying the limb intentionally has nothing to do with breaking uh, 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 the simultaneous actions of wudu. And hence, there is no problem at all in drying your hand when uh, uh, lifting your trousers or touching your thobes or whatever when doing wudu and Allah Azza wa knows best.